Well, let's suppose you're doing uh, trigger jobs on a number of uh, ARs, 10s, 15s, etc., uh, or you happen to have a number of aftermarket triggers that uh, your customers like, might like to try out and see which ones they like best. Um, so rather than tying up a real AR lower to put those in and try them out, this is from the folks at Hyperfire who makes great triggers. This is called the Hyper Trainer. It's nothing but the red aluminum part you see right here and the part down here that you can't that's underneath the, uh, the grip. That's it. So you take your own grip. Now you can buy it in conjunction with the, with the safety and the grip and the grip screw and the uh, spring and plunger for the safety and all that stuff and pay extra. But it assumes if you're working on AR-15s, you undoubtedly have an extra grip laying around. You can buy the grip screws as a tip uh, from uh, JSE uh, Surplus. And I think I bought 10 stainless steel um, with the same 3 uh, hex hex drive, including the flat washers and the star washers. And I think it was like 15 bucks, buck 50 each. Can't go wrong. Should have bought that couple of bags. Any event, and you're bound to have at least a plunger and a spring laying around uh, and a safety. So in any event, all you have to do to put a new one in there uh, is, in most cases, you're going to have to remove the grip, okay? Take it off the grip, let you take out the plunger and the spring, which allows you to slide the safety out. Then you drop the uh, trigger mechanism itself in or you know, the, all the trigger parts if it's not a unit trigger. Um, and once all that's in, you put your pins back through, your standard AR pins. Um, go ahead and put your uh, safety back in and then put the grip and all that stuff back on. So meanwhile, there you go. Uh, you can try it out to your heart's content. You've got a nice big piece of rubber here on the end, so your hammer smacks it, nothing bad happens. Um, and let's say that you bought a bunch of uh, triggers, or you bought some, and you want to see if like this velocity trigger, which says it's a three pound trigger, is this really a three pound trigger? Well, I didn't think this was actually. So what I did was decide to check it. Ten pounds, I'm sorry, ten pounds, uh, three pounds, seven ounces. Three pounds, eight and a half ounces. I quit whacking myself with the uh, thumb with the hammer. And three and a half pounds, 3.5. So this thing is roughly three and a half pounds. Now, considering that they sell these in three pound and three and a half pound configurations, I'd feel I was getting a little bit ripped off if, the, if I got a three and a half pounder uh, when I wanted a three. Okay. Um, these are uh, 40 bucks. Um, and uh, particularly if you've got a store or something and you want various things to train, you don't even have to put the, uh, the safety in. Uh, typically with all of these um, uh, aftermarket unit triggers, once you slide it in there and put the pins through, you just have to run the screws down on each side, which take up all the slack out of the rear, run the whole thing forward and make it solid. But don't do that and then try and put your safety in because now you won't be able to get it in. So. You're going to put the safety in, put the safety in, then go ahead and tighten those screws and you'll be cool. Now, before you call me and raise hell, two things. Number one, you'll notice on the right side here, it says safe and fire. And if we're on fire, this should be pointing down at the F, right? And if we're on safe, this should be pointing over here at the safe, right? Well, it's on safe. If we look at the other side, we got an F. And if we put it down to the fire position, we got the S out. Well, I thought I was losing my mind, hard to imagine. So I looked at 
another AR receiver and sure as shoot, they're on the sides, the other side. And these are in the wrong position. So I called them up and I asked them, I said, did you uh, put the F down on the bottom because there was kind of no place to put it up here on the top and kind of no place to put the S over here? And he said, actually, you're exactly right. We'll just say it's counterintuitive that if you want it on fire, you need to put the safety down on the F for fire. Well, okay. <laughs> but don't call me up. They're aware of this too. I suggested they might want to just leave that off since after all, it's just a trainer and it's not likely you're going to harm yourself by having it in the wrong position and pulling the trigger unless you got your finger down in here. All right. So from uh, Hyperfire to Hyper Trainer, 40 bucks, a nice piece of work if you're doing this kind of stuff.